Datology Coach Podcast. Hi, Sarah. Hey. Hey, girl. Hey. So um, we've always said that the letters, we want the letters to be free, accessible. Mm -hmm. So this is an episode with letters, and it's yeah. a free episode so that people can listen. And uh, we're going to start with a letter I received on Instagram. And it says, hey, Kristen and Sarah, I hope you are well and have been continuing to love the podcast. I wanted to ask your opinion on something. If you're dating a guy and one day he asks that since you're on birth control, would you be comfortable if we didn't use condoms? You have been seeing each other for a few months and feel like you can trust this. So you do it once and then decide you're not ready. He asks how you're doing after it happens to make sure you're okay. You tell him you want to wait longer. He says he respects that. But then goes on to tell you that he wanted you to know that him doing that with you meant so much to him in sharing that experience in terms of bringing you closer. And that's the highest form of intimacy he could show you physically to show how special you are to him. Okay. <laughs> right? Okay. That sounds like a bit much to me. Also, he told me he was taking a break from Instagram for a while, starting with these past couple days. I asked him because yesterday how I asked him yesterday how it was going because I had been on there myself later yesterday and he, and was looking at a message he sent me and you know how Instagram tells you when that person was last active. Well, it told me he had just been active a half hour ago. Then again, later that day, same thing. When we talked that night, I asked him how one of his first days off Instagram was going. And he told me great that he hadn't been on there at all and had in fact taken the app off his phone, but hadn't logged out or anything. <clears throat> so he already knew why she was asking. He already knew why yeah. she was asking. Preemptive. Preemptive. Too much information. Yeah. So, um, <laughs> Go on. I laughed and said, that's interesting because Instagram told me you had been on there today. He said, well, I don't know why it would would say that because I haven't been at all. Call me crazy. But why would Instagram say that if it wasn't true? Mm -hmm. Can Instagram be glitchy or did he really just lie about something as dumb as that? I told him there needed to be needed not to be any reason to hide it but he still claims she, he never was. After the Instagram conversation, I moved on to talk about how, how far the last few days, how for the last few days, he hasn't been responding to some of my messages, more loving messages, like me just telling him, I hope he has a great day and I love him. He hasn't been responding to some of those at all, or even saying, I love you back, except for when he wants to say it. We have a long distance relationship. So I told him I want to make more of an effort to be connected since we can only see each other on the weekends. He had all these reasons why he hadn't responded at some point, but then told me what, you know, I'm reading this. Oh, hold on. Then told me what I am talking about and asked, asking for wasn't unreasonable at all and that he would make an attempt to be better at it. He then went on to say how much this melts his heart that I would call him to talk about these things like this that I am such a loving, kind, warm-hearted woman, and this is why he has chosen me. Because I would bring things like this up and it shows how much I care about us. Okay. Oof. Okay. All of this to say, I think some of this is a bit much borderline manipulative and baity. There's more context, but I wanted to give you the highlights and see what your thoughts were on this, on this much. Appreciate any insight. Okay. Everything about this guy gives me the ick. <laughs> Everything. And nothing serves as more of a red flag than him offering a re like offering up something before you ask for it. Like the minute you ask, yeah. so hey, how was your first day off Instagram? He got to like in his mind he was like, "Uh, that's why he told unless you unless you said something that prompted that, right? Because that's mm -hmm. that's weird, you know. In, in, I in, thought in, it was weird that he would like announce, "Oh, I think I'm going to quit Instagram." Right? Why? Why yeah. is it a problem for you? Well, what are we What are we confessing here? Right. And he told me great that he hadn't been on there at all and had in fact taken the app off his phone, but hadn't locked out or anything. Okay. Why is he telling you that? That's the question. Why is he telling you that? Uh, that's a... That's too much information. It's too much detail to be truthful. Yeah. Right. It's, it's extraneous information. And you have to... That's that's not what you asked. You asked, how was your first day off Instagram? <laughs> the answer is great. Right. Great. 
that's it. But if he starts with the, and I took it off the phone and I, but I didn't log out. He's lying. He's lying. For but sure. I knew that because the right. app told you he was fucking lying. Right. You know, no. Does it maybe show that you're online when you logged off a half hour earlier? Possibly. You know, these apps aren't perfect. You know, they might still have you, you know, it might time you out after a certain amount, of, you know, a certain amount of time. But if they show you as on, it's because you're on. Mm -hmm. Everybody is logged in <laughs> to these. Everybody's logged in all the time. Right. But I don't show up as active all the time. Right. Neither do you. Neither does, neither does most people. Right. So. <clears throat> I wonder I if these two met on Instagram. It sounds like. It sounds like they did. Oh, but really? Let's go back to the condom thing. Because. Ugh, um, let's see. You have been seeing each other for a few months and feel like you can trust this. So you do it once and then decide you're not ready. He asks how you're doing after it happens to make sure you're okay. You tell him you want to wait longer. He says he respects that, but then goes on to tell you that he wanted you to know that him doing that with you meant so much to him in sharing that experience in terms of bringing you closer and that's the highest form of intimacy he could show you physically to show how special you are to him. Mm -hmm. Okay. So him saying that raw dogging you <laughs> mm -hmm. is the highest form of intimacy he could show you of physical intimacy. Yeah. That's what he says. Sir. Sir. I guess I, I believe you, him. <laughs> it's manipulative. Well, for sure. Yeah. It's incredibly manipulative to say something like that. He's yeah. just like, and just so you know, hey, I just want to make sure you're okay. But hey, just so you know, this really meant so much to me. Yeah. You know, what he's what he's trying to say here is you're really going to disappoint me. I'm right. doing this stuff. This really meant something. I really care for you. It's very reminiscent of this is me more raw and honest, more <laughs> raw and self-aware than I've ever been with with you. And I hate myself for it. That's what that feels like to me. Mm -hmm. I'm going to tell you, this is, you're so special to me. That's why I did it. Bitch, if you picked up a girl at a bar and you hooked up with her like say two three times. You were like, do you want to not go with a, you not use a condom? You'd say yes. So spare me, miss us all with this. That's these two have had the um, defining the relationship talk. Are they exclusive? I don't know. I mean, she says they love. I, I love you know. She said that she tells him she loves him. I hope they're exclusive. Right. Let's see. If you're dating a guy, I mean, she doesn't say anything about being exclusive. I guess, you know, the. I guess my takeaway here is like. Wait a minute. Guy... Hold on. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Oh. That's, now I'm going to finish. I'm going to finish the letter because I didn't want to overwhelm. Oh, there's more? Okay. Yes. All right. All right. So she says, appreciate any insight. We did recently have an argument a couple uh. of weeks ago. Because he is 40, never married, no kids, and has a history of being a controlling, egotistical, borderline narcissist. Shocker. Oh. I called him out on it because I could pick up that he was subtly trying to change me and made some off-the-wall comments at times. He agreed oh, with I me. Oh, I wonder what. Right? Oh, wouldn't you like to know? We want context follow-up, dear. He agreed with me and told me how much he cared for me, that he used to be that guy but doesn't want to do that anymore and is working on it. He told me that he chooses me and will work towards doing everything he can to be the man I deserve and need. I'll give you one more example that made me want to lose my shit, which I did, because I felt like he was picking on me about things. Not to mention he did love bomb me in the beginning. Mm -hmm. One day we drove past a hideous looking vehicle and he joked about that being my vehicle. I joked back saying no, that he is always bringing it up, so I think he secretly loves it. He dropped it and I could tell he was upset. I got home later and messaged him asking if he was okay. He said that the waffles he had eaten earlier had made him, had him feeling sick and he was <laughs> upset about my joke stealing. He said what? jokes, he said joke stealing isn't very attractive or a good way to flirt because it takes very little intellect to do. I took that as he was calling me stupid. He was and made, and 
Let me see. He taught, called me stupid and made and made because I was better at his joke than he was. He later, <laughs> I gotta be honest, I, that joke for me, I didn't get it. I, I'm, I'm I don't not, really either. I, I'm guessing you had to be there, but <laughs> yeah, he said he later told me that message was not directed at me and that he was just making a comment in what? general that I read too far into it. Something has felt off, and while I do have a lot going on in my life, I am not sure about this. He has been very loving and communicative in so many ways, but appears to still be very immature at times. What am I missing here, or do I secretly know the answer? Um, you do. You do. You wouldn't be writing it if you didn't. Uh, this this guy is a absolute no-go. He is... Remember what we've said. The, the picking, the teasing, that is not affection. Right. It's not. That's yeah, not I don't. I didn't get the joke to be stolen, but like this whole accusation about joke stealing, sir. Are we not on the same comedy team? What are you talking about? <laughs> what? Yeah, the joke stealing. It doesn't take a lot of intellect. You know what else doesn't? Cursing. Fuck off. <laughs> I, I can't. That doesn't take a lot of intellect. Really? Tell me more stupid car jokes. Yeah. Please. Yeah. Well, I mean, I don't Razzle, get the dazzle joke, me. but maybe I do get the joke. Like, is he belittling your car? Is he calling you poor? Right. Is is that is that what he's saying? Is that the joke? Because it kind of sounds like what he's saying is, <laughs> oh, you're poor. Your 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 car's a piece of shit because you're poor. Right. He's maybe? putting you down. He's putting you down. I mean, it sounds that way. It's yeah. not teasing. It's not lighthearted fun. Right. He's insulting you. He's just wrapping it up in a bow. You know, you put lipstick on a pig, it's still a pig. And you are not the pig in the scenario, my friend. No. <laughs> no. He's insulting you. He's putting you down. He's trying to make you feel inferior and insecure. And this is how it starts. It's little comments like this. I mean, she's jazz. already identified love bombing, mm -hmm. right? Mm -hmm. And what I what I was gonna say before you read the the finale there is that mm -hmm. like it seems like the things she's picking up on that are are giving her the ick mm -hmm. are like that is the answer to her own question right like right. she's she's remembering all of these things mm -hmm. that he's over explaining mm -hmm. and that he is um. I mean, love bombing her about basically, right? Like, yeah, because that's his attempt to control the narrative. Mm -hmm. Oh, just so you know, uh, I meant this, not this. Right. Uh, just, just so you know, uh, this is this is why this is important to me. Like, mm -hmm. people don't um, interact this way <laughs> typically, right. right? We kind of like talk about. I mean, yeah, this just just isn't this just isn't normal behavior. We talk about our emotions. Nope. We we can, we expect our actions to speak for themselves to some mm -hmm. degree, mm -hmm. right? And so if you are constantly having to explain your actions, that's an awful lot like gaslighting. It sure does sound like gaslighting, doesn't it? I mean, what you thought you perceived is not what I meant. Right. O okay, but it's still fucking hurt. So. Right. And he made sure to attack your intellect so that you would question, oh, well, maybe... Maybe I didn't get it. Maybe maybe I am wrong. Right. You're not. I've read your messages. You're very intelligent. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So this whole man away. I just, don't just throw think him he's away the in, one, the, in the dumpster. Unfortunately. You know that gif where they're like throwing the man in the dumpster? I sure do. That's <laughs> that's what I want you to do. I want you to do that. Because first the thing with the condom, and I it, it, listen. That is your sexual health. Well, and that speaks volumes as well, right? Right. The, the minute right. you were, the minute you were out of the heat of the moment, you regretted it. There's mm -hmm. your answer. Right. Right. That you know, I'm not really. Yeah, that's you know, self-preservation talking. That is your intuition. That is your instinct and your intuition saying mm -hmm. something about this guy, man, it isn't right. Mm -hmm. Okay. So when he. Then gives you the BS story. Oh, this is the most fucking whatever, raw and self-aware, intimate, whatever, whatever, whatever it's he so, said to you. It's so important to me. It's so important to me. What to raw dog? Really? You know what's yeah. important to me? Not to get a disease. Yeah. Not to um, 
mess up my sexual health from because some guy decided to be deceptive or selfish right you know know what's important to me trust yeah you know what's important to me (laughs) me right me i'm I'm important to me (laughs) yeah important to me um and i'm more important to me than you are sir for sure and really men just need to understand that and we need to say they don't at all we need to say that to me like you mean a lot to me but i mean way more to me it's the, yeah the samantha jones exit right right i love yeah. me more <laughs> yep i love you but i love me more it, listen Jesus. kristen you're saying this very casually but this is like this would blow men's fucking minds dude because right? they're so they're so used to like watching their mothers yeah prioritize them right they're so them. used to their mothers putting themselves second and they yeah. expect other women to do that yeah you know, right. we're not your mother nope <laughs> no, we're not we're not your mother we're not your nanny we're not your caretaker nope we mean more i love me more i will always love me more that's what you need to say when if a man ever says i love you i love you too but i love me more <laughs> i'm telling you <laughs> fucking say it i love you too but i love me more i don't know if you need to say it every time <laughs> not, not every time but you know it, it, that needs to be established when yeah. you start saying i love you Every once in a while, love you too, but I love me more. Right. Love you, mean that. Yeah. <laughs> love you, but love myself more, mean that. <laughs> I don't care if you make a joke out of it. They need to be reminded. Yeah, as long as you're not stealing the joke. Right. right. I come first to me always. Mm-hmm. Always. And there's nothing wrong with that. Not at all. Okay. There's nothing wrong. Because he's prioritizing with that. himself for sure. Right. I mean, bet on it. <laughs> right. He's prioritizing his sexual health, his health, himself, by Absolutely. trying to manipulate you into going without a condom. Yeah. The amount now, of manipulation we, and gaslighting in this letter. Can, can we talk about this 40-year-old man trolling Instagram? Right? <laughs> Sir, it's giving sad. It's giving tragic. <laughs> I mean... I guess respect because it worked at least once, right? right. But unfortunately, right. your personality is dog shit. So I don't know. I I I I think it's clear we both uh, are advocating for throw the whole man away, uh, <laughs> and and less because of uh, him trolling Instagram to meet women at at the ripe old age of forty, which is. Sad and tragic, tragic. but (laughs) more because of you know the things that the letter writer's own intuition are screaming at her, right? Like all all the all the red lights are flashing here, danger girl. Yeah, yeah, all the all the red lights. I mean, I don't know. I I I I would advocate for just ending this. Wait. I would advocate for just ending this because it, it right. seems like it already feels kind of bad to you, right? Yeah. Um, but if you do love him and you feel like he is trying to improve himself and you have the patience, please follow up. <laughs> do it for the show. Do it for the plot. Yeah. But I agree with Sarah. There's just a lot of gaslighting here. I, I hate teasing I hate it. It's such. It's never a good sign. It no. never comes from a good place. You know, teasing, mocking. It, it's just a way to insult you it, without directly insulting you. Oh, no, it's just a joke. It's not a joke. I don't know if it's like something about me <laughs> inherently. Mm-hmm. I, I've never had a guy do this to me. Have you? Uh, make comments like this? Yeah, like had... teasing? Yes, yeah. I have. And I fucking hated it. <sighs> Yeah. I'm not 12. Right. Don't right. do that. Even when we were 12, like, sir. Yeah. No. no. And that's another thing we need to teach young girls. Men who tease you, boys who tease you. It's not because they like you. Yeah. They'll grow up to be men who tease you and abuse you. It's it's right. because they're being mean, but they're just doing it in a way to confuse you so that you don't strike back because they're pussies and they're weak. Yeah. Sorry not sorry all right free episode we're gonna do more we have uh, a pretty a pretty raw and emotional uh 
<laughs> uh, private episode going up this Friday. Mm-hmm. Go to Patreon. We really do. We really do. Patreon.com slash Datology Coach. You can either buy individual episodes or you can subscribe for $5 a month. I'm really glad that Patreon's in, you know, instituted that yeah. new tier. Good options. That new option. We talked about the dirty mistresses. We went over the gaslighting nar- letter from the narcissist that I received years ago that literally tore me apart. And I had to mm-hmm. rebuild myself piece by piece. Those are all some of the private episodes we just posted last week and this week. Patreon.com slash Datology Coach. Follow us on Instagram at Datology Pod. Follow me on Instagram at the Kristen M. T H E C H R I S T A N M. Follow me on TikTok and YouTube at Datology Coach and My Character Analysis. Bog Witches, Bog Warlocks, Bog Vays, value your time. Maybe stay off Instagram. I don't know. Maybe maybe stay off Instagram. (laughs) Maybe stay off Instagram. Give give it a thought. Uh, And that would be it. All right. Oh, and send your letters. Hello at DatologyCoach.com or go to DatologyCoach.com and submit the letters. And don't forget, we want to analyze messages, profiles, social media posts, anything from like guys on a dating app, stuff from friends. It doesn't have to be romantic. It can be platonic. Send it to me at hello at datologycoach.com and we'll analyze it and try to get to the real motivations, the, the person's true character, uh, how whether or not they're being deceptive, signs you can look for. So send it in. Okay. Bye. Bye. <laughs>